Welcome to Career Journeys, a series of videos by the Consortium for Public Education. Here we explore the career experiences and pathways of professionals from a wide variety of careers to help you think about the skills you'll need and the paths you might take after high school. Hi, I'm Debbie Pixton, a program director with the Consortium for Public Education. Today I'm interviewing Brianna Mihawk, the senior policy strategist at the Institute of Politics based at the University of Pittsburgh. Thank you for joining us, Brianna. Thank you for having me. Brianna, tell me about the Institute of Politics and what do you do there as a senior policy strategist? So the Institute of Politics is a nonpartisan policy center located at the University of Pittsburgh. Our role is to help elected officials and other leaders uh, have access to good information so that they can make well-informed decisions about um, problems that they encounter in Western Pennsylvania. I'm a senior policy strategist, which is a long title, but it basically means that I work with all of our leaders in different areas, education, healthcare, the environment, infrastructure, workforce development, public safety and emergency preparedness, and more, um, to help find solutions to big problems facing our region. We do that mostly through writing reports, compiling research, and working in committees to brainstorm new ideas. Then we share our findings and recommendations with people who can take action and make change. And we also try to help educate the public on complex issues like local taxes, pensions, or the opioid epidemic, for example. Brianna, you worked for Senator Pippi for a while. What was that like? So that was um, my first job out of college, actually. I got the job with Senator Pippi uh, because I had the opportunity to intern with him while still in college. And um, fortunately, he had a position open once I graduated, and I just stepped right into that role. Um, in his office, I worked primarily on policy research, even though I was in the district office. Um, so I, I helped constituents. I answered letters uh, about legislation. I tried to compile information on why people were opposed to a particular bill. Um, because legislators have to be experts in everything, I was exposed to a lot of different issues, which I really loved. Um, one day I'd be working on education, the next day it would be agriculture, and the next day it would be something to do with local government. So um, I, I was exposed to something new every day, and that was really great. So did that prompt you to want to run for an elected office later in your career or did that make you not want to be part of the elected process? I think that there are pros and cons to being an elected official and I wouldn't rule it out for myself uh, sometime in the future if the opportunity presented itself but um, you know I think that for one thing there are a lot of demands on your time um, your time is definitely not your own. If you're doing your job right, you're out in the community 24-7, um, basically. Um, you're responding to people. You're meeting with people. Um, you always have to have your game face on because you never know when you're going to run into somebody at the supermarket. And another thing that's difficult about our political process here in the United States in particular is the amount of fundraising that you have to do. So that means making calls to people, even people that you don't know, to ask them to support you um, in your campaigns. And I think that that would be um, difficult and it would probably um, get tiring after a while. Brianna, if I don't want to be a state representative or a state senator, what are some other ways that I can be involved either in, in an elected or a non-elected um, position to help my community? There are so many options uh, that are available that I think people don't even know about. Um, in terms of elected office at the local level, you could uh, be a um, borough council member or a township council member. Every uh, town in the state of Pennsylvania has either a borough or a city council or a town council that you need to be elected to. Um, and also a school board. Every school district has a school board that you would need to be elected to, and that's a great way to be involved. Um, if you don't want to be an elected official, uh, again, every township and school district has uh, committees that you can serve on, 
For example, uh, the zoning board uh, at the town level um, helps decide what your community looks like. So um, they decide who can put up signs, how big the signs can be, how far buildings have to be spaced apart, if you can have chickens in your backyard, lots of things that people care about and think about but don't necessarily know um, how those rules get made. So, and, and a lot of those positions are volunteer and they're always looking for more volunteers. So that's a great way to be involved and connect with your community. What are some skills that make you particularly good at the job you have now? So um, the main thing I think that helps with my job now is being able to be objective. Um, because we're a nonpartisan policy center, we work with both Democrats and Republicans, and that makes us pretty unique. But it's also a difficult position to have because you have to be really open-minded. You have to be able to see problems um, from other people's perspectives, even if you don't share their view. Um, also, I think I really enjoy reading and learning about different policy issues, um, again, that run the gamut from environment to education and healthcare. So um, you have to enjoy learning about all of those issues, not just one particular issue, um, unless you want to work for a more focused agency, which is also an option. And I have to be a really quick study. Um, oftentimes, I'll only have a few weeks or maybe a couple months at most to brush up on an issue. And then I have to go and work with people who have been studying that issue their whole lives. So you have to be able to converse easily with experts and then also translate what the experts say into layman's terms so that everyone can understand what the problem is and what the solutions are. Um, I think beyond that, really good interpersonal and communication skills are important. Um, you have to be able to converse with elected officials and other high-level leaders, even sometimes governors, um, and not be too nervous about speaking in public. Um, I also work on the Institute's publications, so strong writing and editing skills are really important. And finally, because I often work on multiple projects at one time, um, good project management skills and uh, time management skills are critical to make sure that I don't lose track of anything. What kinds of questions should students be asking themselves if they want to pursue a career in politics? I think if you want to pursue a career in politics, you need to ask yourself, do I like people? You have to like people and you have to want to help them. Um, if you don't, then it's, it's probably um, not going to be a good fit for you. Other things that you have to like are learning. Um, legislators and other public officials have to be experts at a wide variety of issues. Now, if you're doing policy research on a specific issue, that's different, but if you're a legislator, you have to be able to vote uh, on bills that affect everybody. And so you really need to be a fast learner, you need to be a quick study, and you need to like learning and reading and writing. Um, also, you need to like collaborating and working with others. I think that's another really key part of the job. Um, sometimes uh, legislators have to work with people that they don't necessarily agree with in order to get legislation passed. So um, you have to know how to um, kind of compromise uh, or um, collaborate and, and um, in order to serve the best interests of the people. What's one piece of advice you would give to anyone aspiring to be in politics? Just talk to leaders in your community. Start there. Uh, talk to business owners. Talk to school administrators. Talk to um, public officials if you can. But um, definitely just find out what they would change about the world that they live in. Um, ask them what barriers they're experiencing in their jobs. Um, what problems they encounter, and if a law or policy would solve that problem. And if you're interested in what they're telling you and you want to learn more and do something to help, then this might be a career for you. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and experiences with us today, Brianna. Thank you. 
For more information or to learn about other careers in the Career Journey series, visit our website and check back soon for our next installment. Thanks! Thank you.